guys, it's Lynn again with Little Fit Nursery. This is my um, silicone baby Evelyn. She's a full body silicone baby by Noe Art Dolls. I get a lot of comments asking where to purchase her. I think her edition is closed by this point. I, I think that Noe must have sold the last Emerson, but you can always message her if you want more information on this baby. She is so adorable. I have this um, zero to three month um, kind of romper from Tea Collection that I find so adorable. It's very summery. I bought it on sale, so I am gonna put her in this romper just because I think it's adorable and um, yeah, and just because it was, it's it's like Christmas time, you know, she's wearing something like even more summery. So this will kind of at least get her <laughs> in the right direction. I guess I should be changing all the babies into holiday outfits. I'm just, um, I don't know. I just, I just got this outfit and I just want to put it on a baby right away. You know how it is. So, um, but it, yeah, I'll probably on my next vid few videos and maybe even like after the holidays be continuing to change babies into their holiday outfits. Um, we're still a little bit late. We haven't gotten our tree up and, uh, yeah, we, um, we need to, we need to make that happen. But, um, yeah, I just, uh, you know, I, I don't, um, I'm just trying to think through like, let's see here. And I wanted to, I guess, chat a little bit about, um, you know, how, like, cause I, I think right now I feel pretty pretty content with my collection. Like there, there aren't any babies I'm looking to acquire, um, you know, at, at this stage, like I feel very happy with the dolls that I have. I also had thought about downsizing and, and maybe I still will consider doing that at some point, but, but right now I think with the pandemic, I just want to avoid trips to the post office if I can help it at this right, right now. So, um, but yeah, I was, I guess I was curious for those of you guys who kind of like buy and sell, dolls with some regularity, you know, in and out of your nursery. And I know some, some of you collectors are very much buy and hold, like you buy and then you, you keep your babies forever. And then, but, um, and then others are very disciplined and, you know, there are others who just don't, maybe don't buy in the first place and maybe just have a few dolls and they just leave it at that. And then there are other, those of us who I think it's like maybe describes I don't want to say the majority of us, but I feel like very commonly a lot of collectors, because we're collectors when there's something new that comes out, you know, we're, um, we're wanting to, you know, get what's new and, and, um, and it's hard to, it's hard to say no, um, you know, when you see a really cute doll that you really like. And, um, I am now coming up, I, I feel like I just passed the year mark or maybe just, you know, coming up to the you know, it's, it's been a year since I've purchased the baby. The last doll I purchased was my Adam, which is my Joseph three months awake. And I have sold Adam to another mommy. Oh my gosh, this is so cute on her. As soon as I saw this outfit, I was like, I don't know if you guys, this happens to you, but when you get a new outfit, you kind of have it, a baby in mind, or if you're just like, that's a cute outfit and somebody will. But today when I looked at it, I was like, oh my gosh, I want to see Evelyn wearing this outfit because it is so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, um, this makes me want to like, I don't know, hold my babies more or something because she's, she's such a uh, dreamy, dreamy baby. Like I, and she's so heavy. Like it's funny after I haven't hold, held my silicones in a while, I, it's like, you realize like how heavy they are, but, um, but yeah, for the dolls that you have sold, from your collection, did you kind of know, like how long did you know that you would sell that baby? Does that make sense You, if you guys understand my question? Because I think for some people, um, I think for me, uh, the dolls that I have sold, I, I felt like ever since I received them, I kind of knew at some level that they may not be in my nursery forever. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why, but like, I think I've always, there were some babies I just kind of always knew, like may not kind of be here forever. Um, and then there are others where I'm just like, okay, like hands down, like ne absolutely never letting this baby go. I feel like my um, Evelyn falls in that category. Like I just, I, I just think, I think that the, first of all, there's just the rarity of Asian baby silicones. And I just think she's utter perfection, like the way her hair is done and, um, and she's the super soft silicone. And I just, I just really, really love, I just want to show you guys her hair. Sorry, it's a little bit messy, but I think it looks incredibly realistic. I just love the way she's done. She's just, she's just beautiful and just amazing. So, 
Um, so I do have certain dolls where I'm, where I just kind of know, like I would never sell them and they're going to be here forever. And then there are other ones where, you know, I, um, kind of, I, I'm, I get the baby and I'm like, oh my gosh, I really love the baby. But I think I also kind of know that baby may not be here forever. So, um, yeah. And I think sometimes these dolls, like, and I think that's okay. Like if a doll comes into your life and, um, it's just meant to be with you for a short amount of time and, you know, you, you change them a few times and you enjoy looking at them, you know, after a while, there's a certain point in time where that just, that becomes old, right? Like, you know, you're, you, the doll doesn't change, right? So the doll looks the way the doll looks and maybe you've, after you've already taken your pictures and, you know, um, done a couple of photo shoots or shot a few videos, um, you know, the novelty kind of wears off. And so I do think there is an element of, you know, I think we do crave newness in this hobby. Um, and I think that's something that is pretty normal. Um, but yeah, I don't know for people who have sold on dolls in their collection, if they kind of always knew that would happen or if when, when it happened, sometimes it's financial. I have heard of situations where a beloved doll ends up being sold and it's not a baby that would have been sold if the the um, collector didn't need the money. So I do know that that is a very real situation and, and maybe this year, especially right with um, the pandemic um, and just the whole economy and, and that whole situation. So anyway, I, um, I wanted to just, you know, kind of share with you guys, um, you know, this adorable little girl and chat about that topic. I would love to hear your thoughts below. Um, you know, Bo, yeah, yeah, just, you know, let me know what you think about, uh, you know, buying and selling. And if you've, um, kind of just always knew at some level that that baby would leave your nursery eventually. And then, um, and then what's so interesting is I feel like if a doll comes in and then leaves, it's almost like you just rented the doll for a while. You know what I mean? And that goes back to, I, I, I made a video many, it was like at least a couple of years ago talking about like, wouldn't it be interesting if there was like the ability to just like borrow a reborn, you know, like, re like basically rent, like renting sounds weird when it comes to doll collecting, but maybe yeah, borrowing a baby for a while. And I, and I know that there are people in the community who do swaps, right? Like if there are two people who know each other well and trust each other, they'll swap babies for a while and then swap back. And, or I've, I've heard of, um, in like the American girl doll community, they had this like traveling doll concept where a baby sort of traveled and then at the different, the different mommies would change them to different outfits or take them places and take photos. And, and that was, um, maybe with an American girl doll, it's not as big a deal because the doll is, you know, only a hundred dollars versus these dolls, which are so expensive. Can't imagine us doing that with, um, reborns and silicones, but but sometimes it just feels like, like something like that could be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I just kind of crave that newness too. But then after I get the baby or sometimes it's an impulse purchase and I just sort of realize like, okay, I really didn't need to add this baby to my collection. So, um, that has definitely happened to me for sure. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a fantastic week and um, Evelyn is going to say bye to you all. She's going to peek over and say bye. It's time for her nap. And we will see you guys um, on the next video. Bye.